Hey, Thomas, I asked uh, Coach Keith this as well. Um, was there something Clemson was doing defensively to kind of clog up the lane and try to kind of make the three-point shot more available for you guys? Um, we watched film the last few days, and that's kind of how they played. They don't really pressure the ball like we do. They, they more so um, stay in the paint. So that's why we had a lot of threes tonight, just because they was in the lane a lot. Miles? Thomas, I know you didn't get the result that you wanted tonight, but you kind of started to get yourself individually in a rhythm a little bit as you, you work yourself back. Um, how does it feel for you just personally, like knowing that you're starting to kind of string some good games together, get some good minutes, and, and just kind of build as you guys keep going? Um, that's all cool, but I, I just be wanting to win the game. I ain't going to lie, but it's cool on that end, but we got to win the game. Wow. Brett. Thomas, which was the bigger frustration in the second half? Uh, you know, not being able to get a rhythm going offensively or or not being able to stop them defensively. I think at one point they made nine straight field goal attempts. Um, more so on the defensive end, just because the offense is going to come, but we, uh, we have to get stops on the other end. Like you said, they scored nine straight, you said, right? What, what went wrong on the defensive end that you weren't able to get those stops? Um, I didn't get in help. I think it was around seven, seven and a half. I wasn't in help. Um, they threw, so I, I think they threw a pass to EB, man. I want to help, um, just, uh, plays like that to not being in the right spots. Andrew. Thomas, you guys shot about 38% from three in the first half. And then in the second half, I think you were just three for 12. Um, in your mind, kind of what changed there between the two halves? Um, I wouldn't say something changed. I just feel like sometimes you hit shots, sometimes you don't hit shots.